welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss BTU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Infrastructure and Applications BTU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 5A. Write recursive C functions for in order, pre order, and post order traversal of a binary tree. Also, find all the traversals for the given tree. For this given tree, we need to find in order, pre order, and post order traversal. Normally, in a binary tree, we can able to perform different operations. That is, creating a binary tree, insert, delete, search, and traverse. These are all the different operations we can able to perform on binary tree. And here, what do you mean by traverse operation in the sense, visiting each node in the binary tree exactly only once. That is nothing but traverse operation. There are three types of traversals we can able to implement in binary tree. Even binary tree and binary search tree also, we can able to implement three types of operations. One is in order traversal, pre order traversal and post order traversal. Three types of traversals we can able to perform. What do you mean by in order traversal in the sense? Left side node should be visited first, then the root node and then the right side node should be visited. Okay. So, when you are considering a binary tree or binary search tree, the left side node should be visited first, then the root node and then the right side node. This is in order traversal. Pre-order traversal in the sense, as the name implies, root node should be visited first. Then the left side node and the right side node. For example, if it is A, B, C in the sense, root is A. So, A should be visited first, then the left side node B, then the right side node C. This is pre-order traversal. And post-order traversal in the sense, root node should be visited at last. That is, after visiting the left side node and the right side node, root node should be visited. Okay. So, here left side node should be visited first, then the right side node and finally root node should be visited. So, here if it is a tree with A, B, C in the sense, left side node is B should be visited first, then right side node C should be visited next and then the root node A should be visited. This is the order we have to visit in post order traversal. Okay. So, this is the three types of traversals we can able to implement in, in binary tree as well as in binary search tree. So, now first we need to write the recursive C function for in order, pre order and post order traversal. This is the recursive C function for in order traversal, pre order traversal and post order traversal. Okay. So, in order in the sense left side node, root node and then right side node. This is the order of visiting the vertices. And pre-order in the sense, root node should be visited first, then the left side node and then the right side node. And post-order traversal, left side node should be visited first, then the right side node and then the root node. Okay, this always you should remember. What do you mean by recursive function in the sense, the function calls by itself. Okay, the user-defined function calls by itself. So, here this is void in order, user-defined function is in order. In order of structure root node. Okay. And here, if root not is equal to null in the sense, that is the binary tree root node you have to pass as input first. And then, if root node not is equal to null in the sense, in order, this in order is the user defined function. This function calls by itself. The same function calls by itself in the sense that is called recursive function. Okay. So, here in order of root of left, if it is a root node is there in the sense, go to its left subtree. That is the meaning, in order of root of left. And left side, if there are more number of nodes in the sense, you have to implement in order of root of left. Okay, completely in order of root of left side subtree, uh, you need to find. Then, root of data. The complete left side subtree, you have to find first then the root of data and then in order of root of right sub. Okay. Everywhere you have to implement the in order traversal. That is the left side node should be visited first, then the root node, then the right side node. Okay. So, this is the recursive C function for in order traversal. Similarly, pre-order 
traversal if you are considering in the sense first you need to check the root node if root node is not equal to null in the sense first you have to print the data because root node should be visited first in pre order traversal so print the root node first then pre order of left subtree root of left and pre order of right subtree root of right you need to find the pre order traversal for the left subtree and then the pre order traversal for the right subtree okay and in this order you have to print the borders okay this is pre order traversal similarly post order traversal if you are considering in the sense if root node not equal to null in the sense post order of root of left first we have to visit that is left subtree completely you have to visit in post order traversal and then post order of root of right then the right subtree you have to visit the vertices as per post order traversal okay and then print the root this is post order traversal all these three functions are very easy to implement okay so this is the recursive c function next is for this given binary tree we need to find in order traversal pre order traversal and post order traversal okay first i will implement in order traversal okay so what i mean by in order traversal in order traversal if you are considering in the sense the left side node should be visited first then the root node and then the right side node root node should be visited at the middle okay and what is the output we will get it we will write it here so here for all leaf nodes the same vertices only because there is no left and right subtree obviously the same result you will get it okay then consider here start with the leaf node move upward consider here what is in order traversal left side node should be visited first then the root node and then the right side node left node is h and then the root node is e and right node is i okay this is f okay so now for this node this is the in order traversal okay now for this node we know the in order traversal for this also we know the in order traversal move up for this node in order traversal is left is d root is b and right subtree is h e i so the left subtree completely we have implemented in order traversal and this is the result okay and right subtree here if you are considering in order traversal is left is f root is c and right is g okay so now complete left subtree we know the result right subtree we know the in order traversal okay now the root node if you are considering in the sense left is d b h e i and the root node if you are considering it is a and the right subtree in order traversal is f c g so the in order traversal for this given tree is d b h e i f c g this is the result okay next is pre order traversal what i mean by pre order traversal pre order in the sense so root node should be visited first then the complete left subtree nodes right subtree nodes as per pre order traversal okay now for the leaf node and all the same only d h i f g because there is no left and right subtree so here obviously only one node that will be the result okay and for e if you are considering in the sense the pre order traversal is root should be visited first so here e should be visited first root and then left is h right is i this is the pre order traversal result for this node okay and for this node b if you are considering this is left this is right and what is the pre order traversal for node b in the sense pre order traversal is root should be visited first root here is b and then the left is d right is e h i okay and this is the complete left subtree for pre order traversal and the right subtree if you are considering in the sense here root is c and then left is f right is g okay and what is the pre order traversal for this root node a in the sense it is root is a and left is b d e h i and right is c f g okay so the pre order traversal for this given tree is a b d 
I C F G. Okay, this is the pre-order traversal for this V1. Next, post-order traversal if you are considering in the sense, for this node it is H and I, for this node post-order traversal is root node should be visited at the last. As the name implies, post in the sense root will be visited at last. Okay, so first left subtree nodes, then right subtree nodes, then the root node should be visited. Okay, so post-order traversal for this node is left is H, I am writing here, left is H, right is I and root is E. Okay, and this is the left subtree post-order traversal value and this is the right subtree post-order traversal value. And for this node B, if you are considering in the sense, post-order traversal is root should be visited at last. Okay. So, left is D, right I, E and the root node is B. Okay. For this node, this is the post-order traversal. So, and this is the complete left subtree post-order traversal. And for the right subtree, if you are considering in the sense, post-order traversal is left is F. Right is G, root node is C. That is F, G, C. Okay. Now, the post order traversal for this root node is left is D, H, I, E, B, and right is F, G, C. Last is root node. Root node is. So, this is the post order traversal for this G1 tree. Okay. So, here the post order traversal is. D H I E B F G C. Okay. So, this is the in order, pre order, and post order traversal for this given. And this is the result. Okay. Give proper explanation for this implementation. Okay. And this is an 8 mark question. So, if you are writing the C function for in order, pre order, and post order traversal, it will carry 4 marks. And if you are finding all the traversals for this given tree, that is the in order, pre order, and post order traversal for this given tree in the sense, it will carry 4 mark. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.